hold two angles that are complementary. If two angles are complementary, the sum of their measures equals 90 degrees, which means if you were to combine the two angles, they would form a 90 degree angle or a right angle as shown here. So this angle and this angle are complementary. If one angle measures x degrees, let's say this angle here measures x degrees, we're asked to express the measure of its complement in terms of x. Well, the complement of this angle would be this angle here, and because the sum of the measure of the angles equals 90 degrees, this angle must be equal to 90 minus x degrees. So we enter 90 minus x, and just to check this, if x equals, let's say, 40, this angle measures 40 degrees, and this angle measures 90 minus 40, or 50 degrees. Next, we're told two angles are supplementary. If two angles are supplementary, the sum of their measures equals 180 degrees, which means if we were to combine the two angles as shown here, they would form 180 degrees, or a straight angle. So this angle and this angle are supplementary. So if one angle measures z degrees, let's say this angle measures z degrees, we're asked to express the measure of its supplement, which would be this angle, in terms of z. And because the sum of the measures equals 180 degrees, the measure of the second angle must be 180 minus z degrees. So again, we enter 180 minus z. The units of degrees are already here. As an example, if z equals 50, this angle measures 50 degrees, and this angle measures 180 minus 50, which equals 130 degrees. I hope you found this helpful.